Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a process of valuing Aptiv stock by analyzing their financial statements and dissecting their financial ratios so we can determine if it's a buy or a sell. Let's get started with the model. This is a large cap company, 16 billion market cap. They're trading at $68 a share and they have 235 million shares outstanding. Aptiv designs, manufactures, and sells vehicle components. They provide electrical, electronic, and safety solutions to the auto and commercial vehicle markets, signal and power solutions, and advanced safety and user experience. Let's look at their financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows into the future and then you discount those numbers back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. Free cash flow looks great. It doubles from 600 million to 1.4 billion. They just completed their second quarter. So the trailing 12 month number is the last half of 2023 and the first half of 2024. Net income is the profit or loss on the income statements, revenue minus expenses. That exploded from 600 million in 2022, growing even more to 3.7 billion in the trailing 12 months. Really nice growth. Revenue doesn't look as hot. It goes from 16 billion to 20 billion, and it dropped a little bit from 2023 to the trailing 12 months. They're much more profitable. Their margins are improving a lot. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated the terminal value, it's all cash flows past year four, that's 30 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We got a value of the company of $25 billion. We divide that by 230 million shares. And we get a calculated stock price of 108. They're trading at 68, so they're trading at a 37% discount. It's a buy according to the model. This stock looks like a really good value. Their free cash flow is growing a lot. If they continue to grow it, as the company projects, the stock should be over $100. And I think there's a decent chance it'll break through to 100 by next year. At least that's my price target. There are 48 companies in the same industry as Aptiv, and if they have a number in red, they're worse than the median. If they have a number in blue, they're better. They spend a lot of CapEx, 900 million. Magda spends the most, 2.6 billion. Their debt to equity ratio is between the median and average. They do not pay a dividend. Magna pays the largest dividend, close to 5%. Aptiv generates the most free cash flow by far, and that's the best number to look at. They're also the biggest company in this industry. Price to book 1.6, equal to the average. They have the best PE of any company in this industry. You don't usually see the biggest company in the industry with the best PE. They also have a good price to free cash flow. Price to sales, 0.8. There must be a company down in the bottom after number 20 that has like a price of sales of like 10,000. That's why it looks so high, the average. They generate 20 billion of revenue. Magna is more than double that. Lear is also bigger at 23 billion. Goodyear is 19 billion and they're much smaller. We all heard of Goodyear, the Goodyear blimp. And their five year annual revenue growth rate is 7%, higher than the median average. Xpel is the biggest, 30%. You don't usually see a ticker that starts with X. Let's take a look at their latest income statement. This is from their second quarter 10Q. Revenue is down from 5.2 billion in the second quarter of 2023 to 5.1 billion. Expenses are down a little bit as well from 4.8 billion to 4.6 billion. Their biggest expense is cost of sales. These are all the expenses directly tied to generating the revenue, all the expenses to make their products. Operating income is up about 10% from 410 million to 440 million. They paid 64 million of interest on their debt. They had a big gain on emotional transactions. Not too sure what that is. Maybe I'll do a live stream later and we'll peek into their 10Q, read note number 21. That gain inflates their income before taxes. It's over 1 billion. Net income, 938 million. It was 229 million last year. And their EPS is really high, 347. That's with 270 million shares outstanding, down from 272 million. So to summarize, I rank them eight out of 10. Would I buy them? I think I would, seven out of 10. I usually do not invest in this industry, but the company's looking pretty good. They could double by next year. I'm giving their ratios nine out of 10 because that PE looks so good, 4.3, it's amazing. Financial six out of 10, even though free cash flow looks really good, their revenue did decline a little bit from 2023, and it's only up 28% from 2021 compared to the trailing 12 months. 
Free cash flow looks real good. That more than doubled. So that's the end of the video. If you'd like to get a customized valuation, you could become a member by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.